The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Sometimes people think they don't have what to offer. A few years ago, the Belzer Rebbe's Baal Kair was Nifter. He strolled Klein. He was a Baal Kair for the Belzer Rebbe for many years. And he was Nifter. He had many children by the... By the, by the when he was sitting Shiva, at the Shiva house, people were coming. And one time somebody came in and no one knew who he was. He was just sitting there. And as people were leaving, one of the people said, you knew our father? He says, yeah, I met your father. I met him once. He says, really? He goes, yeah, I met him once in Auschwitz. You met my father one in Auschwitz so many years ago? He goes, yeah. Let me tell you how I met him. He says, I was starving like everyone was, and I, I was going out of my mind. I was so hungry, and I was walking around people, something, something to eat, please, something, something. And your father came over to me, and he says, I don't have any food to give you, but there's something else I can give you. And he gave me a big hug. And he held me. And he said, Hashem loves me. And that's how I was able to continue to go. And now I have children and I have grandchildren. And it's thanks to your father. That's why I came here to Menachem Oval. He had nothing to give, but to a fellow Yid, you can always give a hug. And it's so important. We like to go over to people and we think we have to tell them what they're doing wrong, what they're doing wrong. We have to train ourselves to teach them what they're doing right. There was once a child in yeshiva. He wasn't doing the right things and he had to be sent out. And they're warning him, they're warning him. But the reaches of time, sometimes, sometimes... Dealing the fashes, but sometimes the child has to be sent out, and this bacher was sent out, and the manal made sure to keep up with him. He called him, he called him twice, and then life went on, and he stopped calling him. Three and a half years, two and a half years later, he met him by a chasna. He sees this bacher, he looked good. He looked like a frum, good geshmaka bacher, and he went over to him, Shom Aleichem, you remember me? Of course I remember you. You kicked me out of yeshiva. He says, yeah, okay, but you, you look like it worked, like you're doing well. He says, yeah, because how did it work? How did it happen? So I'll tell you the truth. My Rebbe used to call me. He called me every week. That gave me so much chizik that my Rebbe cared about me. He called me every week. I decided he cares about me so much. I'm a person of value and I turned myself around. The Manal was very pleased to hear this. He's very excited. When he went back to Yeshiva, he went over to the Rebbe. He says, you know, I met this in this Bacher. So the Rebbe said, really, how's he doing? Because he's doing great. The Rebbe says, oh, Baruch Hashem. He says, you look surprised. He goes, yeah, I am surprised. He says, well, he said it's because of you. He says, what do you mean? He says, you call them every single week. And that's what gave him the chizik. Did you call him every single week? So the Rebbe looks and says, I'll tell you the truth. I did call him every single week. But not once did he answer the phone. Not once did he answer the phone. I didn't know what was going on with him. But that kid saw the caller ID. That kid saw that the Rebbe cared about him. And therefore, that caring about him is what got him to turn around. We too, there's a Basco Hashem sends out every day calling us. Even if we don't hear the Basco, we should at least know that the Basco is there and Hashem is waiting for us to come home. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.